Here's a 1965 car that will attract the attention of car buyers and arouse their interest because this car is as much fun as a trip through an amusement park. A car that will change the point of view of buyers. A car as lively and gay as youth itself. A car that's smart as a whip. A car as exciting to own and drive and sell as a ride on a roller coaster. A car that will let you show prospects how it puts the fun back into driving. It's the Plymouth Valiant for 1965. This sedan is from the 200 series with new front fender treatment and a new aluminum grille anodized against corrosion. You can get prospects interested in Valiant styling by pointing out that the center section of the grille becomes the focal point for anyone looking at the car head on. From the side, it looks like it's in motion even when it's standing still, with that spear-like molding accenting its fleet lines. Let's see how all the Valiants look from the side. The Valiant 100, the economy leader, has a chromed nameplate at the back of the front fender and an ornamental band across the base of the rear pillar. The 100 series includes two and four-door sedans and a two-seat wagon. The 200 makes a fine family car. It has the full-length side molding, pillar molding, and stainless steel along the drip rails and around the upper portions of the doors. There are two and four-door sedans, a two-seat wagon, and a convertible in this series. Trim for the glamorous signet includes stainless steel to accent the wheel openings, sill, and drip rail. The pillar molding and the wheel covers are standard. The signet comes in a two-door hardtop and a convertible. Back to the rear of the 200 where the deck lid has a flatter curve which gives the rear deck a new shape and the whole rear of the car a new look. And also adds height to the luggage compartment so owners can carry a lot more fun gear. On each side of the trunk, at the base of each tail lamp, there's a new round fixture for the backup lights. Valiant, like all Plymouths, now has a high gloss acrylic enamel finish that helps keep resale value high because years from now, the original luster can be restored by buffing. The wide, comfortable seats of the 200 are upholstered in a combination of ribbed fabric and vinyl. The biscuit pleating of the cushion areas is repeated on the vinyl door panels. Here's a surprise. Valiant 100 interiors are all vinyl. Long wearing, easy to clean, the all vinyl upholstery and trim add to the easy going fun of owning a Valiant. On the instrument panel, the cluster of dials is slanted slightly backward to make them easier to read. Lenses are concave and the plate is painted a satin silver. All controls are easier to reach with the knobs for lights and wipers at the left of the instrument cluster. Heater controls in the center of the panel are now sliding levers. The torque flight selector lever is on the steering column of the Valiant 100 and 200. On a signet, the selector lever is mounted in a special console. The park position is located right where it should be, too, at the left of the column-mounted quadrant and at the top of the range indicator on the console. And near the top of the list of Valiant features is its tough and rugged unibody. This type of construction makes one solid unit of the frame and body, uniting them with more than 5,200 separate welds. Unibody's advantage over conventional bolt-on construction makes the Valiant body stronger, quieter, tighter. It's as far ahead in rattle-free sturdiness as Plymouth engines are in performance. Spirited and economical, this 170 cubic inch six cylinder engine with an 8.5 to one compression ratio is the standard six for all Valiant models. The optional 225 cubic inch six gives extra power, yet it also has chalked up five straight wins in the mobile gas economy run. It has an 8.4 to one compression ratio and a new camshaft that increases performance in the higher speed ranges. Valiant standard V8 is the 273 cubic inch job with 8.8 .8 to 1 compression ratio. It delivers premium performance on regular gas. Then there's the high performance 273 cubic inch V8, a new option for 1965. It has a four barrel carburetor, special camshaft, non-silenced air cleaner, and special pistons that raise the compression ratio to 10.5 to 1. 
Here's Scat Power for the man who wants the fun of being first. Valiant engine operation has been made even more dependable by new distributor caps which are highly resistant to spark jump. A new breaker plate finish that improves spark timing for no lag acceleration. And new longer life spark plugs that are much easier to clean. The prospect who wants the sporting fun of a straight stick can have a fully synchronized four speed transmission with floor mounted shift and Hurst linkage for crisp fast shifting. Or he can have the standard three speed manual transmission with column mounted shift. He can add racing type wheel covers with simulated knockoff hubs or covers with exposed chromium plated wheel bolts for a sports car touch. They're available for all series except the Valiant 100. He can add true sports car performance to any V8 model except wagons with the optional heavy duty suspension system. It has heavier rear springs, stiffer torsion bars, and a front sway bar. It helps the Valiant corner like a cat. And he can add the kind of control needed in sports car rallies by ordering the optional heavy duty shock absorbers and dealer installed disc brakes for the front wheels. A wood grained three spoke steering wheel increases the sports car look and feel. It's available for all Valiants except the 100 and adds still another touch of real sports car feeling. Well, that's the Valiant story. And you've seen how the Valiant can acquire a sports car feel. But many prospects want even more sports car flair. So let's look at another great car that can give them just what they want. It's a high style car at a low price. It's a car that is as practical as it is smart. It's the only car of its kind. It's a car to which an owner can proudly add authentic racing stripes. It's that sleek Plymouth Fastback called Barracuda. The Barracuda is style for fun. Look at the sweep of that roof line. One continuous arc from the windshield through the trunk compartment. The Barracuda front end has its own unique look. Point out to prospects the distinctive way the body color is carried right down through the center section of the grill. That fully tinted rear window is one of the largest single pieces of glass ever put into a standard production car. There's 14.4 square feet of it. And under it, there's an exciting feature. Look, fold the rear seat down, drop the hinge security panel, and you have seven full feet of completely carpeted carry anything space. Who needs a wagon with this baby? Put the seat and panel up and five right in comfort. They have a large utility space behind the rear seat. And of course, there's still a lockable luggage space in the trunk. Tell prospects how air is forced from front to rear and exhausted through these four slots in a constant flow that brings fresh air or heated air to the passengers and keeps the big back window free of fog. Tell folks how the rear window is surrounded by a unique body structure. It uses a network of specially designed reinforced box section supports to make it as rigid as any conventional hardtop body. So there you have the two low-priced fun cars from Plymouth. Valiant, the family compact, and Barracuda, the sports car all the family can enjoy. Yes, the Valiant is styled for fun with sleek lines and modern interiors. Powered for fun with great engines ranging up to the 273 cubic inch high performance V8. Planned for fun with an integrated air conditioning and heating system. Pointed for fun with sports car options. Built and backed for fun with unibody and a real warranty. And the Barracuda is a fun car all the way with its fastback styling in the biggest cargo compartment this side of a station wagon. Show prospects how much fun it is to own and drive one of the Plymouth fun cars. And you'll sell enough to have some fun yourself.